Well, for those of you pining for spring, we are wrapping up a challenging week. Cold, snow, and wind get to be pretty old in mid-April. Farmers are feeling it too. They'd like to be doing field work right now, but the weather hasn't been suitable. John Lordson shows us why the air temperature isn't the only temperature that matters. It was a pretty brutal. It's not unheard of to have this kind of spring weather, but when it consistently feels more like February than April, Minnesotans get a little frustrated. Enjoying the sunshine here. <laughs> Tanya Lopacek decided to escape to Paul's Market in Apple Valley, where it's always 75 and sunny. Oh, I was not happy with the snow, <laughs> but I felt like if I step out of the greenhouse, I'll be back in the mood. <laughs> She's dreaming of spring planting just like farmers are. You know, we're definitely below uh, situations in terms of what we would want to do in terms of adequate planting and temperature. Air temperature isn't the only thing that matters for farmers. Right now, the soil temperature reads about 30 degrees. Ideally, they'd like that to be about 50 degrees to plant corn. And those that plant sugar beets and other small grain crops would like to be in the field by now. But the April 10th USDA crop report for Minnesota shows we've only registered 0.2 days of suitable field work this month. It becomes more of a traffic jam when you're trying to compact all of your work in terms of uh, preparatory tillage, uh, fertilization, uh, planting operations, um, you know, having time for situations if you have a breakdown, and you're trying to compact all that field work in terms of time into the last week in April. On the plus side, the wind can help dry out fields and the cold can kill off a lot of pests. Dave Nikolai with University of Minnesota Extension says farmers will be just fine as long as heavy April showers don't follow our February light temperatures. I think at this point in time, uh, patience is a virtue, uh, you know, to some extent, although I think a lot of our farmers will have limited patience by next weekend and the following week. In Rosemount, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Nikolai says the last week of April and first week of May is a sweet spot for planting corn and soybean.